Hello lover friends, today I have another beautiful gem for you, the lazily refresh database trade. Let me show you what it does and when you should use it. We're here inside my podcast test where I have three test methods. In the first one we are checking if the validation errors are correct ones, we're expecting those here. For the second test, we're just checking if my podcast is prunable. And for the third test here, we're actually hitting a controller and asserting the podcast in the database and making sure we see this in the database. So three test methods here, but only this last one here is hitting the database. Those other tools actually are not connected to the database. So when I'm going to run this now, by the way, I've added Ray debug messages. That's why we have Ray here on the right so that we can see how many times the migrations are being run for this test. So let's run this and you can see three times here, let's make this a little bigger, three times the migrations were being run for this test. And that's because we are currently using an in-memory database and for in-memory databases, when we use the refresh database trait, by the way, this works the same with a PHP unit test, um, this is going to be run for every single test method in my test. So um, as I told you already, we have two tests here where actually we're not hitting the database. So for those two tests, we actually don't need this. And this is when you can use the lazily refresh database trait, which is similar to the refresh database trait. But the difference is that here, this trait is first checking if we are hitting the database somehow and only then migrations are going to run. So this means if we run this test now again, you can see only one time the migration were run for our database because for the other two tests, this was not being used, which is pretty cool, especially if you use in-memory database, you can save a lot of migrations here because often, yeah, you still have tests in your test file where you not always hit the database. So when we use now a real database, so I'm commenting this out. So we're using now a real MySQL database. This is a little bit different here. So let's switch back here to the refresh database trade here. And when we're going to run this, you can see also only one time the migrations are going to be run. And the reason for this is here when we're checking if we're using an in-memory database or a real database, for the in-memory database here, you can see, it's also where I have my array common, this is always going to run the migrations. But for real databases, let's take a look here as well. Here, I also got my another um, Ray command here. Here, we're checking if we already refresh the database. And the first time, this is not the case. That's when this log is being hit and we're going to refresh the database here. And the second time, so for the second test in my file, we are not needing this anymore. So this is why for not in-memory databases, it's pretty similar to the laser refresh database, but still the only thing different here, if we would have a test, Anyway, let's try this together as well. If we get rid of our test that hits the database, this one here with the refresh database, let's try this again, still one time with the migrations. But if we would now use the lazy refresh database, trade like this, you would see that no migrations are being run at all because now we only have two test methods here which don't hit the database. So yeah, make sure if you use the lazily refresh database, you know really when you want to use it. But in general, this is pretty cool, especially if you're using in-memory database. Thank you, Luke Downing, for adding this feature to the framework. If you haven't used it before, please give it a try and have fun.